So the build you're about to see is my second iteration of the FR Advancer, and the same thing applies to what I said last time. I am happily surprised with how viable this weapon is. A very good close and medium range assault rifle. It meets all of your expectations. What you basically have to do is control the recoil on the thing because it's not good. But at the end of the day, if you can control the recoil enough to manage the medium range fights, it's an absolute monster simply due to the fire rate. So my first attachment here is the FR Sprinter stock to just increase a little bit of that mobility. One of the small, like unnoticed things about this weapon is the stray speeds are rather low. So what we're doing here with this stock is speeding that up a little bit with 7% to the ADS movement speed. It doesn't seem like much, but it is a rather important statistic. For that rear grip here, you want the S a cash and grip now we're going to start targeting some recoil control seven percent across the board to gun kick horizontal and vertical small values here but important ones nonetheless so we're on to a preference attachment i'm using the 45 round mag at base comes with 25 which clearly is not enough uh you can go with the 60 personally not a fan because it does slow it down a lot but the 45 was the sweet spot for this weapon for me the fast fire rate you just you end up needing those extra bullets. For our underbarrel here, I have the Kimura Rin 03 vertical grip to target that vertical and gun kick control. This weapon does like to shoot to the sky without attachments like this one. So this is going to massively help you with 14% to the gun kick along with 12% to the vertical recoil control. Unfortunately, it is slowing down the weapon a bit, but it's necessary exchanges. And our final attachment is the Casus break to target horizontal recoil control and fire aiming stability. Not much you need to talk about here. The fire aiming stability is going to control the visual shake and this weapon we're now targeting that horizontal because we just targeted the vertical with the under barrel 18 percent to that horizontal recoil control and also that fire aiming stability so here's all of your attachments on the screen feel free to copy these down if you guys want to or if not watch the gameplay and let it speak for itself i think it might convince you just to give this thing a try i feel like we've been kind of messed around with when it comes to the famas in call of duty over the past couple years like the ffar was cool but it was no FAMAS. And then we got the FR Advancer. Again, it was pretty good. No FAMAS. I just want those classic FAMAS iron sights back, man. That's all I want. If they give me that, I'll be one happy man. What do you guys think? Go down in the comment section. Let me know. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. As always, let's get into it. We have got the FR Advancer over here on Skid Row. Kind of a, a pretty good map, in my opinion, for this weapon, because there are definitely some sight lines that are a little longer, but for the most part, it's pretty close range, which is going to suit this weapon very well. So obviously he's right there. I think I'm going to push top, though. I'm not going to hang out here. Yeah, we're going to try to hit through here and maybe hit a flank on him. There was a guy here. I don't see him anymore, so we're going to slide, slide our butt through. I was gonna say slide our butt through, but should be okay for now. UAV, that guy's got a knife, Mr. Slaw. I thought I was around the wall. I thought Sloth had a had a knife, so I wasn't so pressed on pushing him there. I thought for sure he was gonna run up on me. It's kind of why I played it patiently. So if we go this way, there's one. We're gonna be behind Mr. Sloth here. Good job, team. gonna hit my uav there's still another guy up here beetle and we're out of here advanced uav that's what i'm talking about let's see if we can sneak behind him this way and I'm gonna hit this VTOL. But they're not even giving me a chance to hit my VTOL here. Copy 
Let's see. Good stuff, teammate. All right. I don't know what streak I'm on, but I'm feeling good. Doesn't appear my VTOL's really doing anything for me. Oh, there it is. I'm just going to stay put. Because I do need... I think I need one kill. Maybe two. Right there. We saw Mr. Sloth. I don't know. There he is. I didn't get it. So I don't know where, he, where they're spawning. Over here. Okay. And DNA bomb. That's what I'm talking about. I almost tweaked. Kind of lagging a bit here. Kind of lagging a bit. We don't like that. Uh, are we going to go both ways? Doesn't look like it. I'm, uh, I'm stunned into the next dimension. I'm hitting right now. They're all right here. So the question is, there they are. I was say, the question was, are they gonna push? Probably should focus my attention. It looks like they hit a flank this way. Another one there, I almost missed some shots. Was a guy this way. Don't think he's there anymore. Yeah, you're not knifing me there. There, as I said he was there, and he just shows up. Uh, I'm unsure currently of where they're going to be. I think they're going to be over here. Maybe on the stairs. But, uh, oh. Good kill. They have a huge lead. They had a huge lead. And I will say that changed rather dramatically. All right, up to 56 kills. There's Mr. Sloth. It's looking like this game's winding down, to be honest. Doesn't look like his other team has too much interest anymore in playing too much. I think there's, yeah, there's four of them left. They're not going to spawn anybody in, so definitely approaching the end here. Might as well slay out for a couple extra. Right when I get another VTOL. Truly unfortunate. Does this game end on this hill? Yeah, it does. I was thinking maybe I had another rotation of kills, but... Not looking probable. That's going to be it, I think. I don't know what you thought was going to happen there, pal. Somebody's going to jump on it, and the game is going to end here. So looking like our final kill count is 67 with the FR Advancer. Another really quick game. I mean, eight minute recording, what can I say?